Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence, and in this video I'm just going to talk about some random 4 sports games on the GameCube. Enjoy the video, it's like a mystery box. Beat Spikers is a great game for short bursts of fun. It sure offers a lot in quality. The gameplay is fun. The game is focused around all female volleyball teams. And I appreciate that the game has decency. Game developers could have been tempted to exaggerate certain body parts and proportions in a game like this, but they didn't. And I appreciate the lack of lootness in the game. The controls are great, they are easy to pick up and also offer depth once you get used to them more, they always feel precise. As for game modes, you get World Tour, and this one is pretty unique. You start off by creating your two characters, the one you control, and your AI teammate. Customization options are nice, and you can see the pretty graphics up close here. Then you jump from match to match in a World Tour, and gain experience points, which this time aren't for you. Your partner is stupid at the start of the game, and the more you upgrade her skills, the better and better she plays. And by the end of the game she even plays better than you. In versus mode you can play matches or one of the three mini games. There is beach flag, where you mash the button to get the flag. There is beach countdown, where the volleyball is replaced with a bomb with a burning fuse and beach PK, which is a basic spike and return competition. The game is really fun, and you should pick it up. It may not offer that much content to have lots and lots of replay value, but the quality of the game sure is high. UFC Throwdown is neat. It offers short bursts of brutal action in all of its game modes. Championship mode breaks up the proceedings by weight class, Tournament mode lets you set up elimination style tournaments for up to 8 players, exhibition mode is a one on one, there is also a training mode and there is also a career mode. And here in career you create your own character from a decent array of options and then go through the ranks. The sparing in this mode earns you points that can be spent to raise your fighter's abilities in a few different categories such as stamina, punch, kick and wrestling. The gameplay is a mixture of classic arcade fighting and a boxing game, meaning that the controls feel like an arcade fighting game like Street Fighter or Tekken, but you also get a stamina bar, and if you run out of stamina, you'll get so many punches that you lose for sure, or you get one hit. So the way to play this game is to think out your moves, make every shot count, but even if the gameplay is good, the presentation is awful. There is frequent texture clipping and the game looks ugly, from the textures and graphic effects to the menus. But at least the gameplay is decent. UEFA Champions League is the game most reviewers of the time called a shameful cash-in. It feels like FIFA 2005, but better. I do want to give my opinion on this because sports games usually are super repetitive and since this sort of games don't have a plot they usually are bound to feel like the same game every year so i'm not giving my opinion on this one but what everyone liked about the game is that during season mode you get extra objectives that give you money to unlock extra stuff in the game you don't have to do the extra challenges but if you do them they are fun and they add more depth to the gameplay also the ai is better Teams can put up a decent challenge, and since each team has different stats, you can come across an overly aggressive opponent or, or an overly defensive one, and all sorts of mixtures in between. The season mode is an all-in-one package. In other games, these modes are separated. Here you get everything in one mode. The season mode has scenarios in it, meaning that you can be put into, meaning that you can be put one hour into a match. With the opponent having scored already and you have to win. The season mode also has a manager mode, the mode isn't as deep but you can still do transfers which I guess works out. So as I said the season mode in this game is an all-in-one package. Other modes included in the game are the standard exhibition mode, a home and away mode where you play one half on your field and the other half on the opponent's field, and you can also play a standard Champions League mode, where you can even tweak what teams are going to play against who. And aside of these differences, the gameplay is pretty much FIFA 2005. The game controls the same, but still, considering the many differences in game modes, Champions League is worth to have. The game is fun to play, 
but if you already have FIFA 2005, then you're not losing on that many to, to be eager to buy this one. But if you were to choose between FIFA 2005 or Champions League, I suggest you to choose Champions League. It's better, in my opinion, and the one of the reviewers I've read. Home Run Kings is a GameCube exclusive, and the execution of the game didn't come as you would expect. The game lacks enough depth. I know that the box says that it's easy to pick up and play, but some more depth would have been nice. You can't angle the ball when you hit, also the cinematics are too long and, don't, and you don't have a skip button. The time within pitches is downright frustrating. The game modes are ok, Home Run King includes a season mode that can be customized to your liking, playoffs, a home run derby, and the standard exhibition mode. Awesome is the player creation tool. You can create players so that you can make a full team made out of custom characters. But the creation tool doesn't have that much depth. In presentation, there are glitches. They aren't the annoying type, on the contrary, they are kinda funny. Still, some more details would have been nice. Players have the same handful of animations. Commentary is awful. It it sounds AI generated. It doesn't the the commentator doesn't sound like a real person. And some more details in the stadiums would have been nice. So overall, while the game is okay, its lack of depth won't keep you playing for long. It's okay the first hour you play, but the more you play, the more bored you get by the game. And that happens fairly quickly, when you start early in the game to see the same stuff getting repeated. Same animations, same controls, same experience. 